Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Cooking with Linux Quickie. I wanted to tell you about something that happened. I was chatting with somebody on a social network, which I won't mention, but which has the word face in it, and they were talking about DVD ripping and specifically doing it at the command line, and I suggested, hey, why don't you just use this wonderful graphical application to make life a lot easier? And, uh, and uh, you know, they said, well, it's because, you know, you're not really a command line guy, you're a desktop guy. So I actually wanted to show you how to do this nice and easy, okay? So, I've just popped in a DVD, and of course it pops up and it says, uh, would you like to play it? No, actually I don't want to play it, I want to rip the DVD, because that's what the discussion was all about. And I'm going to do it with an application called Handbrake. What's the, um, rip? Like what? what is rip? Yeah. Rip means I take the movie off of the DVD and I create a digital file okay, of it. another question. Does yes? Handbrake break your hand? No, Handbrake does not break your hand, my boy. Handbrake is is a reference to, uh, a a, yeah, in a car. It used to be, it used to be this, like... Some cars still have handbrakes. Actually, my car doesn't have a handbrake, but you you, you pull this you this you pull this brake up. My car is new-ish, but it doesn't have a handbrake. Anyway, look. So this is what happens here. Okay, you've got the uh, video, and it has already scanned. It probably noticed as it was coming up. It was scanning DVD. And it notices that there are nine chapters. By the way, this is from a TV series from a few years ago called Stargate SG One. It's awesome. If you haven't seen it, that you should really watch Stargate SG One. It's really cool. It's great. All ten seasons, the whole thing. Yeah, it's just Stargate SG One right here. That's right. That's because I've got the DVD box set right there. But this is the first season of the DVD box okay. set. Well, if we had a face cam, then we could do that. Well, I know I could show it on the face cam, but I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that right now. Right now, I just want to talk about how handbrake works. Okay, it's pretty simple. Rather than doing the entire thing, I'm just gonna say uh, I don't want to rip all the chapters because I just want to do this quickly. Seven minutes thirty nine seconds is. Uh, is what it would take, presumably, Wait, to rip like this first... at the beginning, you said it was a quick, so how quick does that mean? Well, it depends on how long you keep asking me questions, dude. <laughs> no, Dad. Wait, but... Okay, well, what? What? But the, well, um, one of the reasons, like, I'm like, wait, what, is because... Um, then I looked down at my shirt because I thought it was the one that says dude on it. Uh, okay, anyway, I'm going to click start. Yesterday. Okay, shh, shh. I'm going to click start to start recording, to start encoding, and here we go. Here we go, and just like that, it starts doing its thing. And as you can see, there's a destination file here in my home folder, Mgagne, uh, and the destination file is a Stargate SG-1. And down here, you can see the progress as it encodes this thing, 5.1%. This is actually fairly quick. You know, I could conceivably just sit here, but I may edit out this part and speed it up. Do you think I should be editing this out and speeding it up? Yeah. Yeah, you think so? All right. Because it's just, it's this Maybe beautiful, it's this beautiful, it. I am talking over it. It's this beautiful orange bar going by at the bottom there. I'll probably edit this out. And then, a few minutes later, or a few seconds later, depending on how fast your computer happens to be, you have got a beautiful uh, digital file of your movie, ripped to your disc, suitable for framing, or, or uh, there we go, put down that cocktail, your handbrake cue is done. Whoa, now there's an application that knows me well. Yes, indeed, an application that knows me very well. There you go. That's what it takes. That's all it takes to rip a DVD file. And like I said, suitable for framing, ready to go. And now that the rip is done, I can just double-click on the file and uh, start playing it direct from my desktop. There we go. And, uh, and you know, we get to watch some uh, really cool uh, old stuff. Oh, man, this was a great show. This was an awesome show. Anyway, that's all it takes. That's, that's all there is to uh, watching uh, one of these great, awesome uh, old videos that you've got uh, sitting in your uh, in your collection there and you want to put it on a local drive or you want to be able to watch it without having to take the DVDs in and out all the time. Uh, but that's all there's to it. That's how you rip a video file using Handbrake. And no, it has nothing to do with breaking your hands, Tristan. And uh, that's it for now. A votre santé, bon appétit, and uh, drop back in for another uh, Cooking with Linux. And remember, uh, subscribe. Do the thumbs up thing. Tell people about it. All that stuff. Talk to you later. Bye.